So to keep myself accountable, because I said I was going to do this, so I'm going to. Um, it's another edition, um, episode, installment. I'm running out of words. I don't have a thesaurus with me. Of uh, working through my fragrance oil collection. Um, this past week was Garden Apron. Um, and I liked it. It had, when you first put it on, it had a really strong note. I mean, this is like all I could smell of fresh dirt. Um, and I don't know if anyone remembers Demeter, although I looked them up and they still exist. Um, but they had single note perfume sprays and one of them was dirt. And it, this smells like that only in an oil format. So it's that dark, kind of humid, loamy soil smell. Hence the garden part, I think, of it. Um, and then there was a little bit of lemon in there too. Um, so when I first put it on, it was quite intense, fade off pretty quickly, and then you're left with something that's slightly floral, slightly citrusy, with kind of that dirt smell, you know, kind of just underlying it. Um, so it was really interesting. I liked it. Um, I'm ready to move on to something else. Um, so I thought I'd let you guys come along with me. So I've got a project bag here. I've got all my minis. Rather than uh, biasing myself some way, shape, or form about what I'm going to pick next, I figured I'd just uh, grab one at random. Maybe it'll be something that's still in existence in case I like it and people want to use it. Oh, no. I know I like this one. We'll see if I like it after a week. So again, this is a Happy Housewife. This is called Sinflower. Um, this might be too warm smelling for summer, if that makes sense. Um, but we'll find out. I'm just going to leave my minis in this bag, I think. They'll help um, fragrance my office. Also, did I announce this yet? Summer of tie-dye. So today's tie-dye shirt. It's a random kind of splatter gather pattern. Um, I tried to match my eye makeup to it just for fun. Um, but I have an exciting day of chores planned for the rest of the afternoon. Um, but I, so far, I feel pretty good about this whole fragrance oil thing. I'm enjoying having a couple of days to sit with things. Um, you know, not just like a one day and, oh, this is great, or, you know, oh, I'm not really sure about this, but give it a second chance or a third chance or a fourth chance. Um, so if you do have a lot of fragrances sitting around, I encourage you to give, give them a chance and see if um, you like them or not. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> Cats. Ah, so curious. Uh, I don't think I've introduced Elvira. This is Elvira. She's our, our special little kitty. She has, um, actually, she has feline leukemia, which um, at some point we're um, afraid is going to make her quite ill, but right now she seems healthy. Um, and it wasn't really what we had planned for when we adopted her from the rescue organization that we got her from, but um, she's a cute, mischievous little monkey cat, and we're, you know, she kind of worked her way into our hearts, so we're willing to deal with the medical bills and stuff later on in life. And I forgot where I was, so that's okay. We'll keep this short and sweet. Go. Put on something that you like the smell of. Even if you're staying at home or just doing yard work. Get a fragrance that makes you feel good, that makes you happy, that reminds you of something nostalgic. Do it. Why not? Um, it's still the weekend and I'll actually put this video up today so it will still be the weekend for people in my time zone if you're on the other side of the country or not country other side of the globe might not be the weekend anymore but go out enjoy it do something that makes you smile something that makes you laugh and I'll talk to you guys later bye